All right, y'all. It's another episode of Stock Lock Sunday. Love saying that. Um, we've got this time around. We've got a uh, Master Lock Pro Series. It is a 6850. Um, now this lock here um, was sent to me for the Locks Without Borders by the one and only Cherokee Lock Picking. Um, so I figured let's give this one a shot. See if we can't get it picked on camera. Um, I have I don't think I've tried picking this one yet. I'm not sure uh, I may have but I don't remember so it'll kind of be new again. So that'll be cool um, Again, this was from uh, sent in for the locks without borders from uh, Cherokee lock picking from Sholo, Arizona So very cool and uh, while we're at it uh, Cherokee I did add Cherokee to the board back here and oh, well, let me zoom in a little bit. Sorry. I did add uh, Cherokee and uh, Wes picks. Also asked me uh, or mentioned that uh, they weren't on there either. Who else did I add? Cherokee, Wes. There was another one recently. Uh, Vix pick and lock. Uh, that was recent. So, yeah, if you're uh, you got a, a lock sport channel and you don't see your name on the back here, let me know and I'll add it. Um, it's a, it's an honor to have y'all on there. Um, okay, so let me see back it up here I think I might just try this one uh, let me back out some I may just try this in hand I don't see why not uh, top of keyway right there it does have a pretty decent um, spring tension right there so this may be a little tougher than I anticipate I don't know we'll see but we got top of keyway right here should be able to hold it pretty good like that. I'm hoping this uh, tension wrench is going to be enough, I guess, is what I'm getting at. All right. Let's bring it over here. And microphone seems to be in a decent spot. I guess I can bring her in a little bit. Okay. Bada boom, bada bang. Let's use or try to use this uh, Peterson, I think it's the short hook. It's got the flat top. Fits good in these kind of locks. I might be able to use this ledge. Let me see. Uh, maybe not. Maybe from the bottom. Yeah, it seems to fit. Let's give it a shot. Not sure I like that. It fits, but not real good. Yeah, I don't know about that. Let me try the, uh, maybe the gem fits better. Oof. Maybe not. Alrighty. Off to a good start. I can hear the neighbor's dog over there kind of getting getting at it. I don't know if it's locked out of the house or Trying to feel for some feedback here. I gotta be honest, I'm not getting on them pins very good with this pick. There we go. False set feels like. I think. Yep, a little bit more. Yeah. A 
Yeah, I hope that dog's okay out there. It's like yapping. All right, now I gotta make something talk to me. It's his first one. There it goes. All right, so we're open. Well, it's turned. Ah, it's a lot of tension. There it goes. Okay. There is a lot of spring tension on that core, boy. I'll tell you what. All right, so we got her. Let's, uh, we're good on the camera, so let's, uh, bada boom, bada bing. Um, ooh, seriously, Allen wrench. Oh, boy. Uh, I hate when I'm not ready. Well, I don't hate it, but I like to be prepared, and I am not. <laughs> I was not prepared for that. I should have known I've done these before. All right, that's neither one of these. So that means it's a uh, Merkin. Let's see. There we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right. Let me get that out of the way over there. Get a pin and tray down here. Oof. There we go. I'll tell you, I like these locks. I know Master Lock gets a lot of crap um, from a lot of different people. I, I don't, I don't hate on Master Lock. Um, I do wish, you know, I've opened a lot of Master Locks. Where you get, you know, it's a really big, awesome, well-made lock, and you take the core out, and it's a six-pin core. There's five pins in it. You know, I mean, what's it going to cost the company to put that sixth one in there? You know, this, this, the, well, two more pins really, but you know, I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. And then you get their um, master lock, lotto locks. Okay, now this might be. Okay, now I don't think that's bypassable. Um, I believe, in order for it to be bypassable, um, I believe this lobe has to run with the, uh, the same direction as the uh, key slot. So, I don't think there needs to be an anti-bypass wafer in there. I could be wrong, I don't think so. But yeah, you get their uh, master lock. That's greasy, boy. Uh... Master Lock Lotto Locks. It's a plastic lock. Basically, you know, they're not made for destruction. Um, really weak padlock. And they've got a really decent six pin core in them. Most of them. Uh, so they got things backwards. I don't know. But I, but I do like their locks. I mean, they make some pretty damn good locks. They just need to work things out a little better. <laughs> I don't know. They seem to have it back asswards, I guess is what I'm getting at. Uh, I'm so happy to see a clip on the back of this. Okay. Um, get that little clip off of there. Those little crimped cores. Pain in the ass. Right on. Got it. I'll tell you, I've gotten to the point anymore where... Uh, if I if I drop a pin, I just freeze and I know right where it is. Uh, it used to be I just count it gone, kind of like when you drop a guitar pick, they disappear. Uh, we used to just not look for them, just grab another one, keep playing. Uh, I am gonna shim this because of that funky back. That's the only reason. If I can get a shim in there, there we go. All right. Uh, 
Oh, uh, here we go. That's what I was just talking about. Six pin. It's only got five pins in it. I mean, what would it cost the company to pin it to six? You know, a, a, another half a cent or something? I don't, I don't understand it. And uh, this would have probably been much harder to pick. You know, at least some harder. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. But I bet you if it was a uh, Master Lock plastic Lotto Lock, it would have had a six pack in it. It's just weird. So, I mean, I guess that's why Master Lock gets a lot of crap. Um, could be. I know these are all standard because it's definitely a stock lock, or at least I assume it is. There's the last one, number five. All right, get these out of here. I know I went that way, so I'm going to mark this as soon as I find my marker. All righty then. Bada boom, bada bang. One's a spool. Two's a spool. Three's a spool. Four's a spool. Want to guess what five is? Yep. Nope. Uh, well, I can't hardly see it. Need my specs on. All right. So there we have it. Where are my specs? There we go. Because uh, it looks like a, it is. It's a uh, serrated, but it's really weak. I mean, there's barely like two. Really weak serrations on that thing. Real weak. Anyways. Alright, I'm just going to hold this up. That's what we got. In the Master Lock Pro Series, what did I say it was? The 6850, sent in by Cherokee Lock Picking. Thank you so much, Cherokee, for sending that in. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If not, don't. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful Sunday and a uh, wonderful work week coming up. Uh, everyone stay safe, keep it legal, and stay cool. Big Al, signing out.